Prophet Ishaq alayhisalam. Birth of the Prophet Ishaq. Before the birth of Ishaq, Sarah and her husband Ibrahim received good news from Allah through the angel Gabriel. In that message the angel Gabriel delivered a message that Sarah would give birth to a boy named Ishaq who would later become a prophet. However, Sarah smiled because she felt surprised and strange. She felt strange because it was impossible for her and her husband to have children if they were old enough, namely Sarah was 90 years old and Prophet Abraham was 100 years old. Ishaq finally recovered in the city of Canaan in 1761 BC. Ishaq is the second child of Prophet Abraham and Sarah after Ismail. Together with Ismail, he became the successor of his father to preach in the way of Allah. Prophet Ishaq married when Ibrahim was very old, Ishaq was not yet married. Ibrahim did not allow Ishaq to marry a Canaan woman because the people did not know God and were alien to their family. Therefore, Ibrahim ordered a servant to go to Haran, Iraq and bring a woman from his family. The woman in question is Rifka bint Batnail bin Nahar, Ibrahim's sister who later married Ishaq. But it turned out that the test that had befallen his mother's father, was also experienced by Prophet Ishaq. His wife is a barren woman. Prophet Ishaq continued to pray to Allah. He was born thanks to a miracle from him. So it is not impossible for God to return the miracle. Prophet Ishaq and his wife continued to pray with strong hope and trust. After a long wait, the miracle came. Rafika was pregnant and it turned out that Allah gave her twins. Is Aish or Esau and Yaqub? How happy Prophet Ishaq was. He was blessed with two sons at an advanced age. One of his sons too, later became an apostle. It was Prophet Yaqub who later became the father of Prophet Yusuf, Bunyaman, and his brothers. From the children of Yaqub bin Ishaq, this is the forerunner of the children of Israel or the Israelite family. Called Israel because Prophet Yaqub often traveled at night. Later, from the children of Israel, a series of prophets and apostles were born. Allah mentions and praises the three prophets, namely Ibrahim, Ishaq, and Yaqub in his words, and remember our servants, Ibrahim, Ishaq and Yaqub who have great deeds and high knowledge. Indeed, we have purified them by, granting them, high morals, that is, always reminding, humans, of the land of the hereafter. And indeed, they are with us truly among the best chosen ones. Quran Surah Shad, 45-47 Dua of Prophet Ishaq alayhisalam. He was appointed a prophet after his father. He is known as an expert in knowledge and wisdom. Ishaq was sent by Allah to preach in the Palestinian area, especially the Canaan and Sham areas. Ishaq continues the preaching of his father, Ibrahim, who is old. Like the other prophets, the prophet Ishaq was ordered to teach how to pray, fast, pay zakat and pilgrimage and leave immoral acts to his people. In leading his people, prophet Ishaq was known as a suave prophet so that his people felt happy, harmonious, and were given abundant prosperity by Allah. Death of the Prophet Ishaq After completing his prophetic duties and as Allah's messenger to preach Allah's religion for his people, he died. Prophet Ishaq died at the age of 180 years, he was buried in Palestine with Prophet Ibrahim and Sayyidah Sarah. His body was buried in Palestine, to be precise in the Makfila Cave, Hebron, or Palestine today. Above the Makfila Cave, a mosque is now being built, which is named the Ibrahim Mosque. In this cave are also buried Prophet Ibrahim and his wife Sidi Sarah, Prophet Yaqub alayhisalam son of Prophet Ishaq alayhisalam, Rafka wife of Prophet Ishaq alayhisalam, and also Leah wife of Prophet Yaqub alayhisalam. Prophet Ishaq in the Quran Prophet Ishaq is mentioned several times in the Quran. Quran Surah Al-Baqarah verses 133, 136, 140. Are you a witness when death will pick you up Yaqub, when he said to his children, What will you worship after I die? They replied, We will worship your God and the God of your forefathers and namely Abraham, Ismail, Ishaq, namely, God Almighty and weak only, submit ourselves to him. Quran Surah Al-Baqarah, 133. 
Say, we believe in Allah and in what was revealed to us, and in what was revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Ishak, Jacob and their descendants, and in what was given to Moses and Jesus and to what was given to the Prophet, the Prophet of their Lord. We do not discriminate between any of them, and we submit ourselves to him. Quran Surah Al-Baqarah, 136 Or do you, Jews and Christians, say that Abraham, Ismail, Ishaq, Yaqub and their descendants are Jews and Christians? Say, you know better or Allah and who is more unjust than those who hide testimony from Allah which was in him. Allah is not unaware of what you do. Quran Surah Al-Baqarah, 140